Hi guys, how are you? I hope you guys are all doing great. <laughs> so in this video, I'm finally, my ass finally came to do this video is how my family found out about my channel. Um, yeah, so I let you guys know about this in my last story time, growing up story time. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. And I hope guys in this video, I'm not all over the place. I hope that I'm as clear as possible. I hope that you can understand uh, what I'm saying and everything. Cause I feel like my, my brain's a little fogged for the past couple of days. Like I'm just have a lot going on and um, and with all this going on, you know, it's just so much, you know, so, um, I hope everyone is out there safe, staying inside, stay safe, wash your hands, wash them in between, wash them all over, keep clean, stay safe, stay clean, um, uh, and stay together and love each other and love one another, like Ellen says, love one another. It's really the truth, love one another. <laughs> um, and just be with your family. If, and if you're not, if you're by yourself, that's okay too. Um, just stay safe. Um, Okay, so um, so let's get started on this video. First, before I get started, let me show you guys my outfit. I got this little Sherpa sweater at um, Francisca Francisca's. It's a little um, little clothing store. I've never been in there before. Um, and I guess it's a little boutique, but it's really cute. And they had this really cute sweater and I thought I'd get it. And it's really warm and cozy. And then on the bottom, I just have some, um, I just have some Nordstrom little uh, joggers on the bottom. They're not joggers actually. They're like a sleep pajama thing. So that's what I have. My hair, I should clip it up. I don't know. So it's not in my face. I should probably clip it up. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna clip it up. Clip it up because I feel like it's in my face and it doesn't need to be in my face in this story time. I need to focus so I'm not all over the place. Okay, so guys, now, so, my, they're gonna be watching this. Yeah, guys, so my family watches my videos as you guys know watching this right now. This is my story time, so. So, um, okay. So, I'm going to start from the middle to the end and not straight to the end on how they found out because then you guys will wanna know like, well, what happened in the middle? What's the story time? It just wouldn't make sense. So I have to tell you guys the middle to the end. Okay, so, ever since I was a little girl, guys, I always wanted to become an actress, singer, model, all of that. It's been my passion ever since I was a little girl, ever since I could remember. And I have like so many pictures as a child in school plays and uh, videos of me singing. I only have one video. I wish I had more, but I only found one video of me as a child singing. So I will show you guys all of that in the future and my pictures and plays. I was always winning my plays um, because I just loved acting and singing all that. So everything I, I went for the plays, I got them. Like it was Princess and the Frog. I was the princess. I would do Red Riding Hood. I was Red Riding Hood. So I loved it and it's always been a passion of mine and that's just something I love so deeply. So and that's every it's always what i wanted to pursue was acting singing modeling all that to entertain because that's what i am i'm a born entertainer born actress like that's what i am so um I even have like my teacher, I won like the best actress in class for all the stuff I won. And I, they made me like a little thing and it says best actress on it and a little picture of me because I'm a kid. So, um, so I was always um, uh, participating in uh, plays and school stuff like that when I was in school. So 
Um, but my major was computers. Every time, like I would, I would do like uh, in elementary all the theater and stuff. But once I got to middle school, high school, it was down to like you know, a business. Like um, I wanted, I wanted to learn all that and computers. So all my classes were computers because that was like what I needed to learn. Because that's very important to know about technology and stuff like that. So. That was like my major in high school and middle school was computer, business, all that. So I know it's not college and you can't call it a major, but that's what I was on top of was computer classes. I was an A, oh, and also I was an A student, A plus student. Um, yeah, I get some B's and C's, but I was an A student. Um, so I guess I was an ABC student. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I was really good at all my schoolwork and I loved school so much. I couldn't wait to get up in the morning and go to school. So guys, watching this, if you're still in school, stay in school, enjoy your school. It's not always going to be there. And, and trust me, you're going to appreciate that you finished it when you get older and you're going to miss it and appreciate that you accomplished your school years and you finished it and everything is going to be great for you. So and yeah, and um, I love school so much and I appreciate it so much because it's a one-time thing in your life and it's not always going to be there. And so you have to enjoy it while you are in school and study, work hard, stay in school, guys, and keep studying and don't go to any parties. None of that. That will always be around. You could party when you be bowling, okay? <laughs> but no, you could party later. Study and do all your homework, all your work, and all that partying and stuff will always be there, trust me. It will always be there. It's not important now, now that you're in school. So, okay guys, so I grew up with my mom, as you guys know, I told you in the story time, a single mom. I, you know, my dad passed away when I was nine and I, she raised me all by herself. So we lived in apartments all my life. And it was one elementary that I went to for like the six years. Oh my God, are you serious? Um, so, um, I, oh my God, I wish I could, how, I don't know how to like mute the texts when I film so I don't get like distracted. Where was I? Where was I? Oh my God, where was I? This is not the time to get distracted. I'm already like brain fogged and I don't need to get more distracted. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. I have to think, where was I? Where was I? Where was I guys? Oh my God. Let me think. Okay, yeah, so um, so the whole six years I was in one elementary and there was apartments right across the street from it. So I was raised there for the whole six years. And then once I got to middle school and high school, I went a little bit like around different cities. And then when I finished high school, I went back to the same city I was going to as elementary. So all that and um, oh my God, I hope I don't get a call because I have an order coming in for food and then they're gonna press the thing at the button and it's gonna call and interrupt the video again. Oh my God, I should have ordered after the video. Yeah, because I, they leave it behind the door, but they have to call to get in and it dials my phone number so I could open the gate. Oh my God, please, please don't call me right now. Let me finish the video. Um, okay, so, okay guys. So yeah, so we lived in apartments you know, all my life, like all of those, uh, you know, school years, all the school years. And um, so then I, you know, when I got to, when, ever since I was little, like I told you guys, that's what I wanted to do is like all that acting, singing. So it was always in my head, but I made sure I focused on my studies, but that was always in the back of my head. I knew like, that's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to do. And so when I got to middle school, um, the next apartment we had went to, you know, you're a little bit older, so you're a little bit more um, kind of wiser and you kind of could do things. Um, so there, the new apartment we had went to had a computer room and I was really excited. I was like, wow, because back in the day, the, all this technology that's out now was not then. And it's just the, 
the new kids now, you know, the new generation is awesome. You guys got everything. Like you guys are in middle school, high school, you got everything. You got all these platforms and it's amazing. But back in the day, it wasn't all that. You got to do a lot of digging and looking and researching. Now everything you could research, but it's like everything is like amazing now. So that's that's the water. Okay, so they didn't have to call, so they got in then. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on guys. So, um, so yeah guys, I got the food and I put it away. The new ap apartment had the computer room. So I was really excited. I had told my mom like, I wanna go down to the computer room. So I went to the computer room and at this time I'm ready to like, at my mind was always focused on the future. That's what I wanted. So I always wanted to like be set in the future and be focused on it because I, I, I knew time goes fast. At that age I knew like time goes fast and you need to think about it now, not, you know, so late. So, um, and I just wanted to get started with it. I wanted to work. So I'm just like a workaholic. So I just wanted to work. It was always in my head. And so, um, I go down to the computer room and I start researching because I'm like, okay, I want to, you know, I want to audition at back in the day. It was like the Hannah Montana. I was popping. I loved Hannah Montana. Oh my God. Such a memory. Love that. So Raven. I loved all of it. But at this time, I think it was just Hannah Montana. That was, it was, um, when I was able to go to the computer room. Um, I think that's so Ramos when I was a little bit more younger, but I loved all the Disney shows. They were popping back in the day. Like they were educational. Like they would teach you stuff that you still know now. That's how amazing it was. So I love Disney Channel, but, um, I, um, I, uh, I went down to the computer room and I started researching, um, auditions, casting. Uh, I went and did my little computer thing, you know, you do like as a like as a kid you're like researching typing and searching with your mouse and even in the computer class i would like look at auditions when it was like my free time in middle school by computer class i was looking at auditions like researching and then the computer room i would go just a couple times in the apartment and research with my mouse look read type it in again research <laughs> so i was really into this and um yeah, so then I found a blog. So as I'm researching looking, I find a blog. And this guy that made the blog, I don't know if it's still around. I don't think it's still around. But um, he was, I think he was in a suit. And um, he was someone, I guess, like worked in the industry before. So And he had inside sources. And I guess he was an actor before. So I don't remember. But he had a blog. And when you would search like on Google, like it would be Disney Channel auditions, his blog would come up and it was amazing guys, amazing. It was all the information you needed to know. Now it wasn't things like, oh, you submit through there. No, it was just giving you casting offices, casting directors for each show, what they were looking for and you know, all that. So you have to submit and you have to get an audition either through an agent or a manager. And sometimes you might be lucky and just get it without them, but um, that's very rarely. So you need an agent or a manager, but, uh, but not now, like there's so much stuff now. You could just, so many ways now, like you still need an agent and manager, but it's like so much more opportunity now with all these platforms, like it's amazing. So, so thankful for that. For everyone so um so i'm researching and i find it and i start printing it out at this computer room. i printed out like i think like 20 pages of his blog all the disney channel shows because i was like oh my god yes i found it these are the casting offices this is their address it would show the address the casting office and that no phone numbers or any of that that's was not on there you had to like search to look for that um um, so that was that. The fan turned on again. I hope that's okay, guys, because then if I get up again, I'm probably going to forget this, forget everything I just said, and then I'll lose my angle. So, sorry, guys, if the fan turns on. Um, it's on. So I research all these things, and I get, I get the, um, 
the uh, I get them out, I print them out, and I go home. And I get so excited, I'm looking at them, but I have to read them for a while and I have to think. So I'm reading them and I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, so I got, I'm, I'm got it. I'm like done now. I'm like, say, I'm gonna be in the show. <laughs> So I said they're like send your resume your like portfolio and submit it to this address for like it was looking for like day players role players guest stars for these Disney Channel shows and the one I was really mainly focused on was Hannah Montana so I was really excited about that how I was gonna get pictures done and uh, resume and I I thought of doing everything myself and so I was like okay I have this little LG phone but it can't really like can't really you know I, at that time no I'm thinking like everything's fine just take one picture I send it I'm in I make up a resume like I type up a resume and I'm in like I'm done like I'm gonna be on Disney Channel I'm gonna do my you know thank you for watching Disney Channel or you're watching Disney Channel that that was like that's what I wanted so um I thought that was like I was in, it was done, I was in with just that information. If I only knew, it's not that easy, okay? It's not peaches and cream. So, so then I go ahead and get the number for the casting. First I call studios and production answers. And I'm like, hi, I'm really interested in auditioning for Hannah Montana. Um, and who do I, like I think I said, who do I have to talk to or where do I submit my information, like my, uh, resume my materials and production was like oh let me transfer you over to casting and I was like so excited I was like oh my god oh my god they're transferring me over to casting I'm like in I got the phone number like I got the information <laughs> so they transfer me over to casting and casting gives me their email I'm like a casting answer I was like hi I really want to audition for Hannah Montana I loved Hannah Montana I loved Miley Cyrus like I was a huge fan I mean who wasn't like the show was the best show like on Disney Channel it was amazing so um and so she's like okay yes um go ahead and submit your uh, materials to this email and she gave me the email and I was like so excited I was like oh my god oh my god yes yes oh my god i'm in she gave me the email all i have to do is send this in and i'm done so but i didn't have any pictures so i just like took one snapshot and then send it in with like uh some information and um i sent it in and i didn't hear back and i was like what like how could they not like want this okay <laughs> i go ahead and call because guys if you know me I'm very persistent and I don't take no for an answer. I'm a very persistent, and you have to be in this industry. And also in any industry you um, choose to go after guys, like you wanna be either a doctor, attorney, or anything you want in life you're applying for, you're going after, you have to be persistent in life. That's just how it is. Um, that's how it is, you have to go after what you want. So knowing me, how persistent I am, I go ahead and call again. I'm like, hi, I submitted, and um, did you get it? You know, because that's my mentality then. Like, did you get it? They gave, like, they probably didn't get it. <laughs> they got it. <laughs> um, so she's like, yeah, um, we'll definitely let you know. And I was like, uh, okay. So, and then um, that was then. But before that, guys, before that, when I had called a casting office, they told me you need an agent. I was remember, I was like calling, I don't remember what show it was for and I was calling, I was like, hi, I really wanna submit my materials um, for, I forgot the show's name guys, but it was for a show. And um, the casting office right away said, I'm sorry, you need an agent or a manager to submit you. Um, I was like, oh, okay. Um, what's like how how do i get that i remember i told them how do i get that and they were like oh you have to google it first of all they're very busy and they don't have time to sit there and talk to you and tell you how you're supposed to find one you have to figure it out all yourself just like anything in this world you're going after you have to figure it out and learn yourself so i was like okay so then i'm going back to the computer room i'm thinking okay they said agent and a manager what is that and what's the difference so i start looking looking and i see okay it says you need an agent you need all that to like submit you to auditions and casting and all that so i started getting information for um the agents i found the sag list i got a little bit older when i found the agents like maybe a year or two 
I started looking for the agents because once they told me that I kind of paused on the thing and I was like, oh, I have to get an agent manager. How do I do that? So it, it took me a couple, like a year or two to find the list of the SAG agents and then get pictures done. So I, I took a couple more pictures on my, you know, my phone and then I had my mom take some of me and I really thought I'm going to submit them with my, you know, resume that I typed up that I was going to get representation right away. And again, wrong. So, so guys, so this is a, an industry you really, like everything is no. Like even at one of the agencies, they have a sign that says no in their, like their lobby. That's how the industry is. It's a no, but you gotta make that no into a yes, okay? <laughs> you gotta make the no into a yes. You have to be persistent. You have to go after what you want. And there's going to be challenges and obstacles in the way. You got to push them to the side and you'll grow as you're learning and you're moving forward. So, and you know what to do. Because I, since I was 13, I've been researching and studying and learning about this industry and everything I needed to know. So now I know everything about it and all the stuff. So, that was my life. I loved learning about it because I wanted to be in it. So I wanted to know everything about it. And so, um, so I get all the lists for the agents. I get all the pictures. I send the resume. I do the mailing. And then I would call all the agencies from the list and get their emails. Some people would give you the email. Some people wouldn't. So I would get the email and then I would also mail it too. I did it all. <laughs> So, but my pictures were not professional. They did not look that great. It looked like it just wasn't looking great. And it, now that I look back, I'm like, it didn't even look that great. I wouldn't even hire me. It doesn't even look that great. So, or, I'm sorry, not hire me. I wouldn't even call me. That was like, I was looking at that. I wouldn't call that person. Like, it does not look like I need to represent you. So, so that was that. And so after high school, I said, you know, I'm just going to study right now on my, on my stuff, but that's what I want to do. And once high school's over, I'm just going to go after this professionally and do it what I like how to do. It. I know how to do it and I want to do it. So I waited till high school was over and I waited till all that was done. I finished high school. Amazing. I miss it. Loved it. I love school but as high school was ending I couldn't wait for it to be finished because in the mornings when I would get up I wanted it to end I wanted to wake up in the morning for the passion and the the life I wanted to live for my career I didn't want to wake up anymore to go to school I wanted to wake up to work and do what I wanted to do so that's why I couldn't wait to leave high school so now, as high school ended, guys, my mom, we leave our apartment, we go stay with my grandmother. And I'm thinking, okay, this is amazing. And it, and it was, um, I had a really nice time. Um, but I stayed with my grandmother, me and my mom, and I started focusing, once I moved, I started focusing. I started taking, you know, taking care of myself. You know, guys, the glow up, get yourself lipstick, get yourself a bag, um, you know, you know, like, getting a wardrobe kind of you have a space now you're not in school you could kind of learn and think of what you want to do and kind of how you want to be in your life going further so that's what i did to care of myself I, you know fixed myself up like you know got really cute i was already cute but i got cuter you know so that's what i did and kind of gave myself space to think and learn and grow so at the time there, I already knew like, okay, I'm ready now. I want to get things going. I want to work. I want to get things done. So I started doing, I started getting pictures done, a lot of pictures done, getting cute outfits, um, fixing my hair, getting all ready to do this thing professionally and get this done because this is like, I'm out of high school now. It's time to work and college and university was never for me. I never was focused on that. Um, if you're in college and university right now, good for you. You stay in there and you finish till you get to where you want to get to. And um, I hope you do amazing and pass all your exams and everything. But um, it's a college and university life is fun. Like I, I see it sometimes like the college kids come to get snacks. I think like, oh, that's so fun. Studying is fun. It's fun to learn. And it's amazing because after all that you accomplished, 
your stuff in university and college, you get to work at where you want to do and stuff. So it's really fun. Enjoy your college and university, guys, and study, study, study. <laughs> and eat good. Eat good. Make sure you get your snacks and if you need it to study. So, yeah. And also, so, so that was never my life. I never wanted to be in college, university. I wanted to be acting, singing. That's what I wanted. So I already knew how to get there and what to do. I just needed no responsibility of school. I needed to be alone to figure this all out because it was, it's a lot of work and a lot of effort and a lot of persistence. So that's what I did. And so, um, I started submitting and submitting and submitting. And even though they would tell me, I had one agency tell me, we already got your information. Thank you. You could submit again in another six months. Like you already was submitting. We got it. Like they were annoyed, but I did not like mind it. Like I'm going to keep submitting. I would submit every week, not every month, not every six months, every week. Like I was on it and I would get new pictures every week just so I could submit it. Okay. <laughs> Oh guys, don't get scared this uh, light turned on. It's not haunted or anything. This light has like a technical difficulty, a glitch. So it turns on sometimes. No, actually not sometimes, every day, all day. It's so annoying because I got to get up and turn it off. And so it's not haunted, so don't get scared guys. It just turns on because of the glitch and technical difficulty, but it turned on and just ruined my lighting. And now I got to get up. Do I have to get up? I don't want to get up. Because then I'll like, oh, and I'll turn off on its own too after a little bit. But I gotta get up and fix it because it's ruining my lighting. My cousins and they were already signed to a children agency, and um, um, and it was really nice because I'd always see them in Target, like the big billboards and Gap and Old Navy. And I was, I remember when I was younger, I was looking at it, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I want to do that. I want to be on a Target billboard and and all that they're in it and they were so cute they were in the big billboard i even have the picture on my phone from when i took a picture i was so excited as a kid i was like oh that's so exciting like my cousins are on a billboard and i wanted to do it too so i want to be with your agency as my family's with your agency so they were like okay and i had to submit to them a couple times they were not um uh, replying back I guess like I said guys I took pictures every week some were coming out good some were popping and some were not so the ones that were popping they finally like replied and I was so excited I got the interview and I was I went to the interview oh my god I was like so excited I was like this is it like once I interview they're gonna get this like who wouldn't like seriously <laughs> so um so once I interviewed my mom took me to the interview. I interviewed, it was like a little uh, little thing they gave to read off, um, just like a little commercial. I think it was like a Baskin Robbins, like ice cream thing. And I did it really good. They wanted me to do it in like two different, um, act, I don't know what you call it, like two different acting styles. Like one like really excited and one just like, I guess normal. I don't remember what the name is for that, but I did that and she said, we'll let you know in a week. Um, if we want to represent you, we'll email you or call you. And um, what they just said, we'll let you know in a week if we want to represent you. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I leave and I'm like, mom, they gonna be representing this. Okay, I did so good. <laughs> and they loved it. <laughs> and um, and my mom's all so excited. She's like, oh my God, this is wonderful. Like, and now every morning for that whole week, I was checking my phone every day, every minute. I was waiting for the email. It did not come. I'm like, no, what? What happened? What? Like, they probably, I'm gonna go look and see, make sure they have the phone number and email correct. <laughs> because I'm like, no, come on. How could you not? Like I did so perfect. Like how could you not want this? So I didn't get any email or call and it was a week. So I finally, after what, not after the week, I didn't let the week end. I'm persistent, so I wanted to know. Like I went ahead and emailed them and I told them, you know, I'm really interested, I would love to work with your agency. I really enjoyed the interview. My, you know, my cousins are with you guys and I would love to be a part of the family too, like part of the, you know, agency too. And I got a reply back and said, with the contract, and it said, um, thank you so much. Here is the contract to be represented. I was so excited. I, I told my mom, yes, oh my God, I'm represented. I would be sad, like I would be going to all the auditions, booking all the jobs, you know? <laughs> 
I was really excited and I was very proud of myself that I emailed and I didn't let like no be an answer. I emailed, it was persistent. I, I got a reply back. So that's what happened. And, um, and I would see what they were sending me out to and it was a lot of commercials and stuff, which was amazing. So in the uh, time being that I was with them, I got uh, three auditions and I booked one of them out of the three and it was um, for a campaign. It was for a very good cause and I was really excited because the first audition I went to was for one was for hair, um, a hair uh, big um, brand. And that one I didn't get because I was really nervous and I felt like I didn't get it because I was so nervous and stiff. So then when they told me to like play with my hair and like, you know, like, you know, be playful and like show the camera like it was a modeling print thing. I got so tense and nervous. It was my first audition that I just felt like, oh, like I, I, I couldn't do it. I don't know what was wrong with me. So I feel like that and I came out of it saying, oh, I didn't, I, I knew I didn't get it because I just, the cat, the casting looked at me, the, the director, he's like, like, okay, thank you. Like, okay, you're definitely off the list because I was so stiff. I just didn't know what to do. Like it was my first time. The second audition I booked. The third audition I didn't. Um, and it wasn't, it was, the third audition wasn't even for me. It was like a wrong, um, uh, wrong uh, kind of thing. It didn't really fit me. Um, but the second audition I booked and it was for a good campaign, a good cause, and it helped a lot of people. It was supposed to be a print ad. So I went in, it was so fun, the shooting on set. I never been on set. There was like a wardrobe, there was a stylist. It was so fun. It was so good. It was for a good cause. So I was really happy I did it. And it appeared on TV. I thought it was just going to be an ad, like a billboard ad, but it actually turned in a print, turned into a commercial. So they put the print pictures in the commercial, but they didn't tell me that when I was shooting. They just said a print ad. So, um, but it ended up on MTV. Shooting on set was so fun going to a studio and shooting and having the big camera and the lights and Oh my God, I knew that that's like where I wanna be. This is home for me. So I loved it. So as the time went on and stuff, and at, at all this is going on guys, as I'm staying with my grandmother and my mom. So now we're gonna get to the part of how all this happened with like, you know. My uh, family, which they're my mom's family, my grandma's family, like her sisters, her their kids, my mom's cousins. Um, we never been around them all the years I've been growing up. But when I went and stayed with my grandmother, they come over like every week, every month for like dinner, get together and stuff like that. Um, and when they would come over, they would see me. Um, I would like guys, I was always on my phone and my laptop working. I'm working, I'm emailing, I'm submitting, I'm looking for auditions, I'm looking for agents, looking for casting. I'm looking, I'm constantly researching, constantly emailing. And I go and just do that all day long, all night long. And then Instagram DMs were it for me. <laughs> they were it. Like at 18, I started DMing like, um, like stu for the music side now. So I switched, I would do the acting when I was younger. And then at 18, I started switching to the music side. I started contacting labels and A&Rs and people that were working at the labels and DMing them and emailing them and getting all the info. And back in the day, guys, Instagram would let you know when they seen your message. So as soon as they had saw my message, I get so excited. I was like, oh my God, he saw my message. So I couple, I DM'd a couple of, you know, big people and it was really exciting that they like replied and it was like new for me. I was like, oh my God, this is so fun. So, um, a couple of, you know, industry, um, professionals and a couple of, um, you know, artist, you know, it was really exciting. So I was like, wow, this is fun. Like it became addicting. <laughs> and so, and it was really good because I wanted to build relation. I wanted to build contact. So I met one person at the label and it was, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to say the name, uh, but it's a big label and we're still friends. Um, and, uh, 
yeah so he's gonna be watching this but um yeah but i met him at the label and i was really interested in working with him and he told me you know you need to build an audience if you want to do this music thing you need to i was I went into the label it was so fun guys because like security there you know you got to check in it was really fun so i went in up to meet him and he was like the vice president of like I think it was vice president of radio for my show. I was like, build an audience? How am I supposed to do that? You know, and I didn't know anything. Like I said, guys, I was still learning everything. So I'm like, okay. And I felt home when I walked into the label. I felt so comfortable and at home. Like I was like, oh my God, this is like, I love this feeling. I love music and that's what I want to do and all that stuff. So uh, we still talk and he's interested now working with me now that i have you guys and the audience and wonderful i build it a audience so that's wonderful but um yeah so thank you guys for that but yeah so um that's what he told me and that was like what three years ago four years ago and i decided i was like you know what build an audience okay i don't know how to do it but i'll get home and like think about it so um yeah and it was just so exciting guys walking into a label <laughs> like oh my god so um so every time they would come they would see me doing the same thing which is none of their business by the way what i do you can't come into people's home and tell them how to live their life and what to do but that's how they are they're nosy <laughs> they're gonna see this oh god so little me like the little evil stepsisters like in cinderella so my grandmother is the nice one so um they had kids oh my god the light turned on again so uh, is it ruining the lighting okay well, we're almost done with this so and so uh yeah so they started seeing me doing the same thing at first they were like okay wow you got you got signed okay great and what are you doing and what if it doesn't work out and what if you don't get there and you you're doing all this and you're sitting and you're not even you have a job you are not even working okay um and i'm really nice i'm like oh no it's it's gonna happen and i'm working on it every day and focusing yeah i put my if you put your mind to something guys you will achieve it if you work hard you will achieve it um set your mind to something you will achieve it it's just you know so that's possible in life if you believe in your believe in yourself you can get to where you want to be in life so i would um tell them oh no you know this is only a couple times and then once i start seeing that someone's not supporting me or they're not you know they just want some information to like you know kind of maybe insult me behind my back or something or even in front of into my face i just stop um uh, interacting with that person even if they're family because you can't choose your family and you know there's the family that loves you and supports you and then there's a family that doesn't and then there's people that love and support you or there's the people that don't so that's life so it's okay and so i told them oh no like i'm working on it every day i just have to get pictures and i'm like submitting and i'm working on it and it's gonna happen and all that stuff and they were like laughing <laughs> you know like but they felt it was like their duty to make sure like i get off my ass and stop thinking and focusing on this and to go get a regular job so they would come over every week and the time they came over i was doing the same thing because yeah it's a process it's it's hard work it's a lot of researching and a lot of emailing and a lot of connections and relationships you have to build they would come every time and see me doing the same thing so they started telling my grandmother that you know she needs to my grandmother let me tell you guys She's very supportive and she believes in me and she always knew like that's what I wanted. So she was supportive and believes in me and all that stuff. But she can get easily influenced by her family. So if they say something, it'll go in her head and she'll come and tell my mom, well, yeah, they said that she should get a job and that it's not like, uh, you know, it's not a hundred percent all this and and this and that my mom say no Why would you say that like, you know that why would you listen to your like your you know your sisters and stuff? That's not true. Like she's working on it. She's getting there. My mom's always has my back like support She's like no, that's not true. She's telling her mom like no like 
she knows what she's doing she's emailing she already has like auditions she's working on it it's not like you just book one audition and that's if you're a miracle lucky but there's people go to like a hundred auditions until they book one so that's how the industry is so i was a constant process for me i was working on it so they got that into her head that i should get a regular job and then we'll do this on the side or something so my mom said like she started telling me like you know what for grandma to be a little happy to kind of see you some doing something because she, she just sees me like sitting all day on my phone but i'm actually making important phone calls and doing emails but for middle easterns uh they think you're just sitting there not doing anything i saw a funny TikTok and <laughs> The boy, like his Persian mom was like, what are you doing? You're just staring at the laptop. I paid this much for your laptop. I paid for your school and you're sitting here and just looking at the laptop and not doing anything with your life. But he's actually working. He's building his TikTok fan base. He's doing something with his life. <laughs> but they think you're just not doing anything. So you're just lazy sitting there. So, um, so I was uh, sitting and so my mom told me, hey, what about that? that um that youtube they do that uh they eat and they whisper what is that called i was like oh the whispering thing i didn't even know what it was called asmr i didn't even know the name i was like yeah they whisper but i don't want to why would i do that i don't want to do that i want to focus what i'm focusing on my my emails my music like i'm contacting labels i'm getting interviews all this stuff and she's like well you should just do this you could do that too but just let her see you doing something so she does it like you know, because her family's telling her that she needs to get up. She's not even doing anything. They're coming into her house telling her how it should be. Oh, my God. So, um, so I just started working a little bit, like, getting. So, I started the channel. So, guys, actually, let's thank. Let's give a pause and thank the mean family members. Because if it wasn't for them, I probably would not have my channel today with you guys. And have my beautiful fans. And, Yeah. But let's give a round, of, let's give, was it round of applause? I don't know what they say. But let's give a clap for the mean family. Thank you. <laughs> guys, it's all because of them I'm here with you guys right now today. So, they just, you know, the channel came about. That's what God wanted. This is God's plan. So, but yeah, so, um, uh, so yeah, so uh, I started the YouTube channel and my mom helped me with the name Hungry Lips <laughs> So that's the name. That's me guys. Hi <laughs> and um, So yeah, so I, I, I she was showing my grandmother like look we're gonna go somebody requested a turkey sandwich So we're gonna go get a turkey sandwich right now and I would go get it and I would eat it and just her seeing me doing something like editing and thing it kind of made her happy that I was moving and not stuck to my phone glued to my phone so I started doing that and I was still doing my emails and everything on the side but I was like editing and like showing it because you gotta do sometimes stuff guys when you're staying with family it's not like you're in your own home you can do whatever you want you're like staying with family kind of gotta make it work a little I know it sucks but not really because you know I have you guys <laughs> So it all worked out for the best, but um, so that happened. So then as I'm doing the videos for you guys, I started getting subscribers. I started getting comments. I started getting fun. And so my mom got really excited. So one of the cousins came over, um, not the girl cousin guys, the guy one, the one that's married to, I told you they have the little children with the agency. So, um, he came over and they were, he works like he does. Uh, he hires people to do remodeling and they were remodeling. He wasn't doing it. They, he was watching the people doing the remodeling because um, that's his company. And my mom goes and shows him, oh, look, this is what she's doing now. Look at with her phone. And she look, she's like, look, she has a YouTube channel. And she like eats and she's showing it. And I'm like eating, I think I was eating a sandwich. And he was like, oh, okay, that's nice. Like, mm, that's good. And I was like, mom, you are so, what are you doing? Like guys, when they get old, like parents, I think they have like no filter. They don't, they don't keep like young people, they keep things hidden. Like they keep things like private, their private life. But older people, they just say everything. She'll say, like she says everything. I'm like, 
come on, you can't do that. Why would you do that? Like, that's so like, it's not even necessary. Like, that's embarrassing. <laughs> so she's like showing it. I'm just starting out on my channel and I'm eating a sandwich. And she's showing it, she's like showing him like, look, like this is what she's doing. Look how fun this is. Like she has comments already. She has subscribers like, okay, great. Now guys, this is how they found out. So he sees the name. He's like, and she tells him that it's like hungry lips. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. So he's like on his phone, like, okay, great. You know, whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, mama, don't do that again. That's embarrassing. That's like not necessary. You don't need to do that. And, um, so I, um, <sighs> Once I start my channel getting subscribers, guys, and stuff, I started getting messages for customs. I didn't know what customs were at the time. I remember asking a lot of you guys, like, what is that? I didn't even know what it was. And so a fan had told me a custom is you say their name and you do a nice video for them. So the first video I did, I did a nice video in a regular outfit. I just said hi, you know, with their name and stuff. And as, as I was getting customs in, I was doing it, I started getting, you know, the payments, of course. And I was like, wow, okay, I'm, I'm making money. I could take care of myself and I could start buying myself food and buying myself things and I could start, you know, uh, working on myself more so I could like, you know, focus on my, like my auditions and stuff like that guys. So, cause I, you know, you need to buy stuff for your clothes and stuff like that. So I was happy to get, be able to make some money. So, um, that was really exciting. And then what happened was this is how they found out guys. So when I started making money, I started buying things and I started, so when they would come over, they would see, first of all, they would see, um, a little bit. I looked like I had some new clothes. Like I looked a little, you know, when you get that bag in, you know, you get that bag in, you kind of look different, you would be balling. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, no, I was just like getting a little money in. I was like buying myself things, buying myself food. So my grandmother was like telling them, oh yeah, I don't need to, because they would, they would get like, they have this little bit of like, oh, like she should be working, getting a job and you shouldn't be paying for anything for her. So that's how they were. Um, and it's just like, oh no, she's like paying stuff for herself now. My grandmother likes to say things too. Like I said, guys, when they get old, they just talk. They have no filter. They will say everything. <laughs> so, and then what happened is, is that my grandmother needed um, some, you know, some, some money for um, my, her sister. They're gonna like call her, I hope not, and like let her know I made this video. Oh my God. <laughs> So they had, they, she needed money. Now they have money guys, but at that time, like they just, you know, wanted to like use her and get some money or something for it. They were moving or something. And so they needed money. And to make my grandmother happy, I gave her some money from the customs that I made um, to help her and make her happy because she wanted to help her sister. Even though they're mean guys, it's just her, still her sister. So, um, so that was that and she gives it and then they were like wait where did you get the money and she's like oh you know s you know i'm gonna I'm, I'm say my name guys s i'll just say s because that's my first initial s gave it to me and uh, to you know to help and she's like what where does she get that kind of money where does she even get any money wait what they had to talk a lot and figure out what was going on first before they ever showed up again and so she's like yeah she gave it i don't know what she does I just know that she's like has uh, money coming in from her work. I don't know what it is. She kept telling them, I don't know, because they wanted to know, like, what is it? You need to tell us, like, what is it? Where is she getting it from? She's like, I don't know. It's just from her work. So, um, like, like, she does, like, her, you know, whatever she does. I don't know what she does. <laughs> that was my grandma. And, um, and so they started talking at, at their home like with the family they had a little family get together and the cousin that was there that my mom showed the video to and he got the name he had told them because they were talking like we don't know what's going on s just gave you know uh i'll call my grandmother s too s just gave s uh money to, for the moving and we don't even know what's going on where does she get it how does she get it what is she doing and he was like, oh, 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 her mom had shown me because that's how it all went. I, we found out how it exactly went by someone at the get together. But he was like, oh yeah, her mom had shown me. And she's like on YouTube, like she has a channel and she's eating and it's probably from that. <laughs> so they're like, what? And then so they start 
looking, they start typing in hungry lips. They found out and they went on my Instagram and they saw some bikini photos. They went crazy. They started calling my grandmother saying, you know, she's getting naked. So my grandmother's like, what? She's getting naked. Oh my God, why? Why is she getting naked? What's happening? And so um, I, I told her, no, I'm not getting naked. That's a bikini photo. And Middle Easterns think if you're just wearing a bikini or a crop top or anything, you're naked. Honey, I wasn't naked then. I'm naked now. Just kidding. But no, I was not naked then. I just had like a bikini and just some cute, like showing, revealing clothes. And they were like, oh my gosh, she's naked. She's on the internet naked and she's showing herself um, and all that. And I was like, um, no, I'm not naked. And so they started, and then I, they started getting really like wanting to start trouble, wanting to start things, saying I'm all these things I am and to my grandmother and she started getting upset yeah but my mom kept telling her no she's not she's not naked she's not getting naked um it's just bikinis and stuff so that's how they are they're old-fashioned middle eastern so that is how they found out guys and you guys asked if they had reached out um yes they always call my grandmother and ask about me or talk about me and guys the last video i did the story time that story time brought one cousin over and that's the really mean one. Oh my god she's gonna like they're gonna kill me <laughs> they're gonna, I'm gonna be dead oh my god they're watching this i know they are the really mean one showed up after that story time guys like five days later and my mom had said uh, you won't believe who's here because guys you know I was staying with family five months ago so that mean cousin her cousin showed up the really mean one had showed up and she um, and she was like oh hi you know to my grandmother and stuff and because uh, my grandmother was there with her uh, brother that was visiting and so the brother likes to invite people that we don't know about <laughs> He'll just invite people to the party that no, there's no party, but he'll invite people. It's just so weird. So he invited her, and but she was already gonna come because she had saw the story time and she came and she said, oh, hi. Right away, I'm shocked in, where's S? Oh, how is she doing? And I, my mom texted me right away and I was at Starbucks. The time when she showed up and I wasn't there, but my mom had texted me and she said, you won't believe who showed up. Cause she never shows up. She never comes by. It's been years. So she showed up and my mom saw, oh my God, I wonder why she's here. Like what happened? Like, why is she here and asking about you? And then I was like, uh oh, maybe it's the story time. I was texting my mom, my, maybe it's the story time I just did. And she was like included in it, but it was like my life and story time. I'm just talk, telling my fans about my life and I have the right to do that. And she was like, I knew you do, uh, you did something as, like my mom saying my name, I knew you did something. She wouldn't just appear like this and ask your name so many times. And I was like, yeah, I know. I, I didn't know like she would be watching it and stuff. And I was like, and I was like, mom, but I have to tell my fans my story time. It's my life. I'm not talking bad about anybody. I'm just telling my life story. She's like, okay, but if there's like trouble, it's all on you. So, um, but yeah, so, and that was that, and she showed up, and then they went and talked to all, like, my aunts, they're the mothers of the cousins, see, it turns off by itself, guys, see, um, and t they all talked, and they saw the story time, they're like, what, we were, oh my god, it turned on again, oh my god, <laughs> it's so annoying, and they were like, Oh no, that's not true. Her story time, we were there. We did a lot for her. They were like, we did a lot for her. I like to know what that a lot was because I didn't see anything. I didn't have anything. <laughs> so, but um, they were like, no, we did a lot for her. We did so much for her. Okay, that's nice that you think that. <laughs> but yeah, so guys, that is the end of my story time. That was, I hope... I was not all over the place, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Now, I love my family, guys, and I never have any ill feelings or hate feelings or anything towards them. They're still my family. Like I said, you can't choose family, but they're still my family, and I will never have a relationship with them. They'll never have a relationship with me. We don't connect. We're two different people. Um, 
just too different, you know, and two different lifestyles, two different people. Um, and yeah, so it'll never, it'll never work out between us. And uh, they were never, even my mom growing up when she was young, they never invited her to parties. They never took her out. They never will have a connection. They just aren't just like that. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.